The bank has two roles. It operates in the domestic market and it operates in international markets. So the bank owns uh, the country's foreign exchange reserves. They're actually on our balance sheet and we manage them on behalf of the country. So we operate in the foreign exchange market for two reasons. One is, a, is to give us the capacity to intervene in the market when conditions require. Uh, so for instance in 2008-09 uh, conditions in the foreign exchange market here and globally uh, deteriorated. Liquidity was very sparse and we, uh, we stepped in to provide liquidity into that market. Uh, so we operate, uh, the intervention episodes are generally fairly few and far between. We haven't intervened in, felt the need to intervene in the market since 08-09. Uh, we also operate in the FX market every day of the week because we do the government's uh, transaction, uh, foreign exchange transactions for them. So every day if the government needs to pay uh, some uh, bill in foreign exchange or provide money to an embassy offshore, we provide that uh, money to the government out of the foreign exchange reserves. We then go back into the market and replenish the foreign exchange reserves back to where uh, we want them to be. So the idea in managing the reserves is that they, we, we hold reserves to have sufficient liquidity for us to be able to intervene in the market when we need to, which and normally we're not going to get a lot of advance notice of that. So the reserves have to have a certain degree of liquidity. Besides that, we aim for a diversity across the portfolio and that the portfolio has only the highest credit. So we hold roughly uh, half of the portfolio in US dollars about 30% in Euro, and then some in Japanese Yen, uh, the Canadian Dollar, uh, and the RMB, which, is, uh, which we've only started investing in uh, relatively recently. We have a global operation. We do, uh, all our domestic operations are done out of the Sydney office, but we have offices in New York and London to manage the foreign exchange reserves portfolio. So the US dollar and the Canadian dollar portfolio are managed out of New York, and the Euro portfolio is managed out of uh, London and then the Yen and RMB portfolio and the sort of oversight of the portfolio as a whole is done out, of, uh, done out of Sydney. So just like in the domestic market, the fact that we're transacting in those global markets every day, so for instance we hold about half of our portfolio as I said in US dollars, most of them are in US treasuries, so we enter, we're dealing in the US treasury market uh, every day which gives us direct insight as to how the market is functioning and, and similarly in, uh, in other markets. Similarly in the FX market because we're transacting in the market every day of the week that gives us a good insight into how conditions are uh, unfolding in that market. <laughs>